Yep, I see the screen. Everybody can see the screen? Okay. All right. Um, we're going to start where we left off at in the last class. Um, the reason why I'm going over this type of information is because it's all going to play a part in the science of healing as we continue on throughout the three months. So here we're talking about David Icke's book, The Big Secrets, page 478 states, the Brotherhood has technology that messes with the weather, and they use it, no doubt about it. We have seen nothing yet. Enormous changes in climate patterns and extremes of weather are likely in this period, along with geological effects as the Earth reconstructions herself and prepares her body for the shift in the same way the humans are having to do. We and the earth are being challenged to synchronize our consciousness. Its physical expression with its rapid, rapidly accelerating frequency now bathing the earth or the planet. The Brotherhood is seeking desperately to hide the fact, these facts by blaming the weather changes on the greenhouse effect or El Nino. Now, the reason why we're bringing this up is because uh, we came up in New York um, in the middle of December, all the way until Christmas, it was 70, 75 degrees in New York during Christmas, the weeks leading up to Christmas, all right? Then about two and a half weeks later, we get a super rocket snowstorm blizzard over two feet. All right, so here it was two and a half weeks before, 75 degrees in New York City during the winter time, during Christmas. Two and a half weeks later, we on the snow, two and a half feet. They're talking about this week going back up to near the 60s in February. So they know that once people realize that something very different is happening, the dominoes will fall and the game will be up. Because the energy changes are waking people up. The Brotherhood knew this was coming and what the effects would be. They couldn't jump into a spaceship and settle with the sun or go into the center of the galaxy to switch off the new vibration. The only alternative was to hijack the awakened consciousness and lead it back into another cul-de-sac, another rule and regulation religion, where it would be no threat to the Brotherhood agenda. We are clearly being prepared for revelations about these entities, because the highly charged and higher frequency entities will increase dramatically. The number of people we see will, who see these entities on the lower fourth dimension they need the microchip control in place before they can, um, before they are seen openly as the vibrational rate changes advance or the vibratorial changes advance. And this is the truth. This is exactly what's going on. Because more and more people every day are talking about people with these reptilian eyes. All right? Even President Obama went on to view and sat down and talked about the people, the reason why people don't accept changes or that they have these or that they are so extreme with the differences on planet Earth because of the reptilian portion of their brain. All right? And he said this is what causes prejudice and um, doesn't allow people to change very quickly and so forth and so on. Well, he's right and exact on that. But also the fact is, is that you have those with O negative blood type, B negative blood type, A, B negative blood type, A negative blood type. The negative blood types have the 
ability um, for their eyes to change like a cat, which as sometimes you may see a cat will ground um, pupils, or at other times you might see them with split pupils. All right, reptilians have you know, these same type of slits in their eyes. Well, those with negative blood type have that ability, and the oldest one being O blood type has the highest percentage of that. Now, it is said that long ago, this is based on Dr. Deborah Blair, peace and, peace and blessings be upon him, um, as he passed away this morning. Um, Ashe, 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 over the next three days, as he drifts further, further away from the physical body, um, maybe he wrapped in the halo wings of the ancestors. All right, so, Dr. David Blair speaks about the reptilians. Dr. Malachi York L speaks about the reptilians. And they was all really talking about the reptilians way before David Ike ever spoke about them. All right, I heard them speak about the reptilians back in the 90s. Early to mid 90s, they've been already talking about this. All right. Now, we don't want to get off onto a UFO or IFO tantrum and just speaking about one particular race of beings, but what is being said is that these beings mixed in with us long ago, right, as part of our evolutionary process. And we being the oldest people on the planet Earth, we being melanated people, our blood type goes back over 300,000 years ago as old negative, old positive blood type. In particular, old negative blood type over 300,000 years ago. All right. So, um, we understand that by us examining history, in particular, galactical history, we see that we actually are made up of at least 22 different beings. All right, we're confused into what we now refer to as human beings, but it's from 22 different beings. This is because the 22 amino acids or 20 amino acids plus two stop codings. So 20 plus two is 22. 22 being a psychic master builder number. All right, 22 amino acids. Everything from guanine to um, cytosine. So each particular strand or each particular um, element of what's called amino acid, um, actually, actually symbolizes the fact that we made up of those 22 different beings. Right? When we're talking about reptilians, grays, Andromeda beings, Martians, Venetians, Earthling, so forth and so on. Now, this may be hard to believe, but really it isn't. Because there's planets on which that viable higher frequencies, planets that have higher technology, beings that live in the planet Earth and not particularly on the surface. Now, is this true? Kudu Mutua speaks about it, South, South African Shawnee, and he tells us within the Oracle, the um, um, Blue Bone Oracle book, that there was a destruction that took place in the solar system. He's referring to the destruction of Maldic and Malona, which is the moon of Maldic, which was destroyed and which had created our asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. He goes on to say that this destruction caused um, solar plastic wings to eradicate the being that was on the surface of Mars. However, before that took place, the men impregnated the women, and the women were able to transform their bodies into macabres. That even today in South Africa, amongst the Bushmen, the hunting tides, all right, as you know, referred to. All right, 
states, um, we say amongst the Amazulu people, the word Amazulu, according to Kita Mutua, means in South African traditional language, tongue, he states that Amazulu means specifically sky people, that they came from the sky. In other words, we materialized our physical bodies with the earth elements or earthly elements. Prior to that, we was light being very ethereals. He states that the men or Mars impregnated the women. And the women were able to transform their bodies into ships. Or macabres, which means light vehicles or counter light vehicles. And they were able to dematerialize, rematerialize from Mars to here. Okay? Now, this is what it said. Go and get the book. The Native American speaks about it, African speaks about it. Aborigines from out of Australia speaks about it. All the indigenous cultures around the world speaks about it in some shape, form, or fashion. We know that ancient men had technology, advanced technology. They just finished finding a 200,000 year old. Um, actually a 2 billion year old nuclear plant right in South Africa they just found a woman on the moon it actually it was dated back to the 19 um, 70s on the one of the so-called um, missions to the moon. It was Apollo 19 and 20. Apollo 19 fell and Apollo 20 was successful. In which that they found a sister whose ship was larger than a city. And she was a sister. She had locks. But they tested her and she dated back to one point five billion years ago. And she had six fingers. This is part of the same species in which that Zachariah Sitchin referred to as the Anunnaki. Okay? We have remnants of that blood type within us today. In particular, old negative blood type um, still are born with six fingers. Even the Bible speaks about Benjamin, who is one of the sons of um, of Jacob of Israel, having six fingers. All right. So we know that this is a um, galactic trait. And they just finished showing also different objects. Like, for example, um, iron ore or some type of metallic spheres, which dates back, which I can show you all this information that I'm talking about. Y'all can go and see my later, on one of my later videos, which asks about um, Moorish zodiacal cosmology. And I show, it, show them more there. You know? Get the book Forbidden Archaeology by Michael Cleemore and Richard L. Thompson. They speak about this information. Okay, so we know that this is real. It'd be foolish of us to know that there's um, over 100 billion stars. And then, of course, we have to realize that there will have to be even more planets, as our sun is a star, and there's 
nine planets or more around it. Zechariah Sitch says twelve planets. Of course, some of the moons are actually planets, so planetoids, in which that could be classified as planets, just like they did in 1977 when they found Kawai. At first, it was a planetoid, then it became, um, you know, um, in the status of a of a moon um, that that got tossed away, all right, from I think it was believed from Uranus. But now they have gone back and actually said it was a planet. So for those who study astrology and cosmology, now they have to add Chiron into the mix as it symbolizes and is influenced from the zodiac or the 13th sign called Officius, which is actually Imhotep. Okay? So, these are facts in which that is trying to be hidden. And in some ways, they're trying to prepare us for it. And we can actually see that um, this, um, they have more than like six episodes of X Files coming back on. It's been years since X Files has been on, more than 10 years or more. But yet, X Files is back once again, and it's been on TV now for the last week. Okay? And if you go back and watch the first episode, they dropped in a lot of this information that you just talked about on there. All right, so Ronald Reagan's obsession was alien invasion. This is an excerpt from the universe, or uh, UFO universe, September 1988, issued um, by A. Hovney. It says the president during a December 4th, 1985 speech at the Folsom High School in Maryland remarked that during his five-hour private discussion with Gorbachev, he told Gorbachev to think how easy his task would quite be in these meetings that we held if suddenly there was a threat to the world from some other species from outside planet, uh, from planet outside in the, in the universe. We'll forget all the little local differences that we have between our countries. And then on September 21st, 1987, he stated, our occasions think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside the world. And yet I ask, is not an alien force already among us? Hmm. Who's, what, is, what is this alien force that's already among us? That's the question. The good question, as a matter of fact. You know, that's something on which that, um, I'm going to you all to think about. What alien force is Ronald Reagan talking about? That's already among us. Well, President Ronald Reagan was actually using Masonic code words. This alien force is really the solar attack from the sun. The sun is a star, as in sunlight or starlight, and it is actually called astral light or energy. For the word astral means star. So the word extraterrestrial is really extraterrestrial or Extra astral energy on Terra, which is Earth. Thus, more chi, ki, or prana is here on Earth, as previously mentioned, because quantum physicists call it photonic energy. Human beings, star beings that possess the extraordinary ability to absorb these um, stardust particles or celestial dust, as it is also referred to as, through their melanin or melanocytes. Which acts, um, which your pores act just like um, you breathe in through your lungs. Your hair follicles, which is um, nine inch or curls like in the old antenna, which you build up by the TV that gave you access to higher frequencies, can expand their brain functions or mind, mental faculties beyond the average 10%. 
Now you see what we really want to go beyond the average ten percent usage of brain. Now you get the book called Weather Warfare by Jerry e. Smith. He goes into quite a bit of information. Right? Speaks about the heart system. Of course we know about the heart. Um he took about three hundred and sixty antennas in Kanoka, Alaska, in which there supposedly it was shut down before twenty twelve, which we have not found any good reports on that being true or not. All right? Um, but what we have found is that it has the ability to disrupt the ionosphere. Now, what is the ionosphere? The ionosphere is one of the seven atmospheres above the planet Earth, in which that they send their satellites into, in which that gives them the ability in order to communicate. But guess what? We also, um, after we leave our physical body, that's where we go to is into the ionosphere, which is referred to as heaven. All right? I'll get to that in a second, but Ronald Reagan began developing the Star Wars defense program, now called ARC, which is High Frequency Advanced Oreo Research Program. It was on a 35-acre compound of 180 antennas near Kanoka, Alaska, but now it's 360 the last time I checked. And that was used in the study of the Earth ionosphere. Now this technology was made uh, from the rediscoveries of the scientist Nikola Tesla who began in 19 that was began in 1993 and was allegedly finished in 2007. In September 1995, Hawk was tested with the pattern number 5041834. Hawk's main goal was basic science research for the uttermost or the uppermost portion of the atmosphere, termed the ionosphere. The ionosphere is where the atmosphere is thin enough that the sun x-rays and UV rays can reach it, but thick enough that there is still enough molecules present to absorb those rays. Consequently, the ionosphere consists of a rapid increase in the density of free electrons, beginning at 70 kilograms, reaching peak at 300 kilo uh, kilometers, and, um, excuse me, kilometers, and then falling off again to the atmosphere to space, entirely by 1,000 kilometers. Various aspects of art to study all of the main layers of the ionosphere. So, we're talking about the research and study of this atmosphere. Research at the heart includes plasma line observation, simulation, or simulated electron emissions. Observation. Now, why would they have to do that? Because I, because the electrons have the tendency of leaving planet Earth and going into the ionosphere. This is what they found out: is that upon death, there's a release of electronic emission from the physical body along the breath or the vapor molecules of the breath, in which that comes up to about seventy grams of weight that is different between a living person and a dead person that is being released. So over 70 grams of weight is released from the electronic emissions and the vapor emissions as you take your last breath, exhale out, and that cord is cut. So what scientists have found that by studying the electron they seem that it makes a whole 360 degree rotation and then disappears again from out of view, out of sight. And obviously make a whole nother 360 degree rotation as it comes back inside the sight in order to carry out another 360 degree rotation. So really that goes back to 720 degrees. Okay? In other words, we're looking at incarnation. If electrons are emitted from the physical body, that template becomes your emotional or your etheric body after you pass on, which is made up of those electrons. Those electrons come back into another body. This is what is referred to as the electrons actually talk about the soul in, in, in some sense or fashion. 
Right, the diagonal frequency here in research, squared F observation, learned by um, um, ionic spheric echoes of radio waves due to irregularities in um, electron density in the F layer, air closed observation, testing spread spectrum transmitted, transmitters 2009, media shower impact on that ionosphere, response and recovery of the ionosphere from solar flares and geomagnetic storms. That's the main thing. The effects of ionic, um, ionic spheric disruptions on GPS satellite signal quality, producing high density plasmic clouds in Earth, of atmosphere, and etc. Now, Nick Backage in 1995 published Angel Don't Play This Walk. Brother Bobby Hume put me onto this book back in 1995. And, um, he was doing a lecture at AWOL, um, African World Order, down off of um, Edgewood in Atlanta, Georgia. I was in the class, and um, he was building during the sessions. I um, love a break. And um, he put me onto that book at that time. I went out and get it. You know, um, matter of fact, um, Bobby was with me and we was going out um, several times out the week going to get books. Right? And um, that's how we kicked off our, our friendship back in 95. And he actually is the one who told me that I should be teaching and getting this information out. So I gotta get across to go to Bobby Hinden on that. Um, but right here says Hawk is a weather modification weapon. It is used to disrupt the ionosphere and may even be used as a mind control agent. No. If man can modify the weather, he can also modify it for military purposes. There's no coincidence that the um, United States Army, Navy, Air Force, Signal Corps have been deeply involved in weather modifications. Um, research development. Weather is a weapon, and the general who controls over the weather is in control of the earth. All right, and those who can, who are less armed, can actually get clobbered basically by a blizzard, which we just didn't see, or starving, you know, uh, uh, with artificial droughts, you know. It may sound like science fiction, but this, this is what they've been wanting to do here for quite some time. And now they're mastering it. Get the, get the book, um, The Weather Changes, published in 1968. This tells, tells us of their um, plan and of their plot, you know? Right here we see the sun comes down, the rays of the sun, which is 93 million miles away. Well, the sun is 93 million miles away. The rays of the sun comes down 8 minutes and 20 seconds. Um, and as those rays come down and it touches our melanated body, it correlates to 8 minutes and 20 seconds, correlates to the same way that the blood supply flows through the physical body maybe 8 minutes and 20 seconds and then bathes the brain in nutrients and elements and vitamins and minerals, you know? Um, so hence the reason why we raise Kutalini up through the seven vertebrates, or the seven, I should say, chakras along the vertebrates, or Shankaras, or Aritus, the Umbalini, or Kutalini, raises up through the 33 vertebrates specifically, and the 31 plus 2, or 33 nerves, through the Shoshuna. What happens is that it activates more than 10% of our brain. And this causes a problem for those of which that do not want us to understand this information to its highest level and understand that we have God within us. So what do they do? Could they know that there's a change that is coming, that we get ready to jump from almost sapiens, sapiens to almost crystals? which means to become the same as Christ. So everything that you read in the, oh, um, in the New Testament about Jesus being able to perform miracles, walk on water, so forth and so on, we can have these same abilities. 
how do we do it? Well, we have to absorb more solar energy, cosmic energy. Okay? Now, if that is solar energy, then look what happened. If the sun is going to help change our DNA, which it is, these solar flares, mega flares, super flares, that are bombarding the planet Earth that the scientists are scared about, that um, the Kichio Kaku, uh, Michio Kaku, um, who's one of the top physicists in the world, so Dr. Michio Kaku, he, he, he even have done several videos about the solar flares that came um, in 2012 and will last on up until 2016. Right? So these solar flares that's supposed to come every 11 to 22 years are now lasting four years and longer. So now they want to call what is going on with the planet El Nino. All the 75 during Christmas time because of El Nino. Oh, we just got two feet of snow because of El Nino. Well, what is going on is that you see here incoming solar radiation. And you see reflected solar radiation. It's also reflected by clouds and atmosphere. Uh oh. So this is the reason why they're going up into the ionosphere because they want to see how much of this cosmic or solar energy that is being reflected by the clouds and atmosphere. Obviously it wasn't enough. That's the reason why they had to create artificial clouds called chemtrails. Because the ozone became depleted over the north and south of And it said that the solar winds or plasma bombarded the planet Earth and destroyed the ozone layer purposely so that we can gain um, so we can receive solar static energy or energy from the sun and from Sirius A series um, from, from a serious constellation directly. And from um Alcyon, uh, which is from um, Alcyon, which is um the a larger sun, over a hundred times larger than our sun in the center of the um, galaxy or the Milky Way galaxy, referred to Alcyon. And we receive direct energy from it too. So we receive a lot of direct cosmic energy coming in through our poles, and which that is creating the aurora borealis and different um, northern and southern lights, and which that is spread out. All right, the northern lights have gone down. Before you might be in Alaska, you was able to see it. Now it's done came all the way down to Oregon, Wisconsin. Okay, they seen. Um, these colors, you know, of, of this world borealis all the way down into um, what they call the Midwest. That is unusual. But the reason why for that is because there's more cosmic energy coming in at this time. We're going through the photon and belt also at the same time. So we have a lot of stuff going on. We just finished a 26,000 year um, of history, or what Elijah Muhammad referred to as 25,000 years new of history, called the Holy Quran. We just finished. All right, we're now going into, um, we just finished a, another age of 21,060 years. All right, and what's that? We left the age of Pisces, now we're going into the age of Heru, as we refer to it, or Aquarius. All right, in 1969, Mary McCo and her crew sung the song, which is called the Fifth Dimension. Sung the song, the Age of Aquarius. Here comes the sun, the Age of Aquarius. Now, now, why were they in 1969? Here we are, damn, 45 years later, not even realizing what they was talking about. 46 years later, not realizing what they was talking about. The song was called, Here Comes the Sun, the Age of Aquarius. Now, what the hell was they reading in 1969? There was no goddamn um, internet at that time. What was they getting the information from? Well, of course, old schools know that it's books. But well, what book 
or books was talking about that type of stuff at that time in 1969. That here comes the sun. In other words, the solar flares, the cosmic, the um, the uh, mega flares, the super flares, and so forth and so on. Here comes the sun. Well, the Bible speaks about it in Malachi, the fourth chapter, the second verse. The sun will come with healing in its wings. You know what I'm saying those who are wicked will become like stubble, um, um, stubble, and be cut down to the dust of the ground. Okay, so as you see here, the rays absorbed by the atmosphere in the center, then right next to it, emitted by the atmosphere. Outgoing long wave radiation, then you have the um, atmospheric window, which is called the gas house gas, in which that comes back down as radiation. You also have latent heat. Now you see, which is reflected by the surface or absorbed by the surface. Well, you as well as native beings have the ability in order to absorb this energy, absorb this light, because you have melanocytes. Your melanocytes act as black holes, in which that is able to gather and store energy into your body. There's three areas to store energy. Your third eye, your heart chakra, and your navel, or right below your navel chakra, because the abdominal brain. Okay? These three areas are important to remember. All right, makes you live longer. You want longevity, then you will store the energy in your lower dentine, in your navel area. If you want compassion and mercy and love, then you store it in your heart. If you want high intelligence, high IQ, brilliant brain, then you store it in your third eye. All right, so whenever you or practicing Qigong or Tai Chi, you are actually visualizing, storing these energies into your body. All right, with more of us absorbing that energy, okay, there's added benefits to that, which I will talk about a little bit later. So Dr. Deborah Blair, once again, the lady salam upon him, peace and blessings, Ashe, one of the great master teachers who I've learned from, um, who's passed on actually today. Um, so I'm really dedicating this class to him tonight. But he's the metaphysical analysis of the coming catastrophe. Scientists have blanked the earth with electrical electrical energies, trying to counteract the effects of the changes in the magnetic force field. The intent would be as a single thing trying to hold back the tide of the, of the oceans. If you get careful, Barnes' book, Melanin, The Chemical Key to Black Greatness, Melanin gives the human's ability to feel because it is the absorber of frequencies of energy. Right now, Dr. Um, Francis Quest Weldon, who just recently passed too, a lady salam on her, um, she writes in ISIS paper that since melanin is a super absorber of all energies, it is essential to establish this understanding of God in all energies. Now, these are important phrases or quotes here because that's what you're doing here in class, is that you will learn how to absorb all energies. In other words, that will bring you to more of a congruent understanding of God. A greater awareness of God. The fact that the Albion of whites lack melanin may also help to explain why in the view of many non-white people they whites lack spirituality. Also, they lack suffering. You know? And the capacity to tune into and thereby establish harmony and justice. The reason why you're not getting any justice, no justice, no peace is because you're not going to get justice and peace. Because you're dealing with an individual uh, for the most part, who was 60 to 80 percent calcified pineal gland. And I didn't say this, this is actually from, from the book, African Origin of Biological Psychiatry by Dr. Rich King. 
East states, 5 to 15 percent. Africans have come from Pioneer Glen, 20 to 35 percent. Asians have come from Pioneer Glen, but 60 to 80 percent Europeans have come from Pioneer Glen. So it's still 40 to 20 percent in which that can understand your plan. But that's not the majority. So Elijah Muhammad says, you can't transform the devil. You're wasting your time. Okay. All right, so continue on. That's right. We mediate charge particles and effects on signal operations. Remember, this is what they were sending the harp system into the sky for as the HF transmitter to check out the ELF and the VLF radio waves as well as also the ionic spheric current. Alright? Remember this is where they want to put this is where they put their satellites at. Alright? So these satellites are in the ionospheric current, which is what we go to after we pass on from the physical realm. If you don't believe me, look right here and it basically goes into it. In the Ankh, by Nur Ankh Amin states that everyone seems to agree that this realm heaven is located in the sky above the clouds somewhere, but no one wants to specify its exact locations. Heaven was in the ionosphere. The ionosphere is a mirror image of electronic or electro magnetic <coughs> emissions from the earth. No matter how faint, the spiritual characteristics of every object on earth is duplicated in heaven cause electrons to vibrate in such a way as to emit an exact electronic emission or image of all earth transmissions. Now that's deep. And this is what we were talking about. This is how we know that this is life after the so-called death. Because electrons are released at the point of death. And this electronic emission is what you know, what is called your etheric body or your astral body as is later on. Your mental, causal body. Your causal body is part of the immortal body. The other body die, but the memories is in that particular body, which is called the Aku, the glorified light body, in which that is enveloped around the Ka, which is the spiritual body, with both of them is enveloped around the Ba, which is the soul. So imagine the egg, the whitest portion of the egg is the Aku, or the spiritual body, or the glorified light body, as, you, as I was saying, which is, which is another aspect of the spiritual body. But then the spiritual body itself, called the Ka, is the whitish area in the egg, and then the yolk will be symbolic to the soul, the Ba. All right? So that's called your immortal body. That body you take with you when you leave the planet and travel into the cosmos or first into purgatory, which will be referred to as the ionosphere, which is also the dream world or astral world where you go to every night. This is how your ancestors are able to communicate with you. In order to tell you the numbers or tell you certain things in which they might happen or foresee, you know. My uncle came to me one night several years ago, okay, three, four years ago, and told me to read Psalms 1 and Psalms 13. I already knew what Psalms 1 was, which was to protect yourself from negative energy or negative beings or negative situation. And I know also what 13 was, which was to prevent um, yourself from having an early death. So in that dream, um, I remember going upstairs. Now, my uncle, in the building that, that my family used to own, he actually used to live in the basement. But in this particular dream, he was, in, he was upstairs. So I went upstairs, like four flights. All right? Four symbolizes being able to communicate because it's on the square, as this square has four corners. 
So it symbolizes us talking on the square. So as I went up these four flights, I was able to talk to him, not with the mouth, but mentally. He was communicating with me mentally and told me these things. So upon waking up, first thing I do, I open up the Bible to Psalms 1 and Psalm 13 to read it. All right, later on that afternoon, I was taking some herbs, and um, y'all might have seen the um, cinnamon challenge, all right, and people damn near gagging and killing themselves. Well, I took some herbs, um, you know, free form herbs, and I didn't drink enough water, and the shit got caught in my, um, into my windpipe and everything. I'm into my nostrils, and I couldn't breathe, all right? I remember the dream, and because I remember what my uncle told me, and I remember the dream, what it was saying, it hits me like a light bulb. Just open your mouth and you can breathe. You couldn't breathe through your nose, but you could breathe through your mouth. So I opened my mouth, and sure enough, I was able to breathe. So I was able to get some water and, you know, get it down as quick as possible. But if my uncle didn't possibly come to me and tell me that that was going to happen and prepare me, you know, for, you know, avoiding a negative thing, you know, then something could have, you know, happened worse, you know. So they'll come and help you if you have an altar set up for them, okay. That's the first thing. You have to have an altar set up, all right. You get a white cloth, you get a little tray or a little desk or whatever it is, um, you get you a white candle, get you some incense, sandalwood, frankincense, myrrh, patchouli, kush, you know, um, the thing I said, sandalwood, but all of these have the ability in order to get rid of sage, have all, um, all these have the ability to get rid of negative spirits or entities or negative thought forms. I wish that could be clouding your judgment or or in your place of business or in the place or in your home. All right, the white candle is to reflect negative energy. Um, normally, you get the candle, which that is in um, the glass and case, so that it can burn for seven days. It's called the seven day candle. All right, you want to get a picture of your ancestors that's passed on. You want to be able to um, um, set out some some coins or monies. Coins symbolizes nickels, um, symbolizes silver, a um, little bit of silver, some copper, all these things. That's what pennies and copper, well, pennies, this used to be copper. Now it's mostly zinc and different other elements. Um, nickels, dimes, quarters, you'd have silver in it. Now there's very little silver, if they, you know, at all. You know, but if you go back and get the ones before 1965, um, they have silver in it for real. And you can put these on, um, you know, on the table of your altar. You know, you can um, have some type of food or some type of drink, in particular water. All right? Purified, alkaline, spring water, well water. You want to be able to put on your altar. So you want to be able to have perfect air, water, and fire, and then all combined is ether, which is sound, um, which is lower aspect of ether. But then you also have life ether and light ether. Right? You also have thought ether. All right. So your thoughts, your light, which is your ideas, your brilliance, your life, which is you putting forth a channel in. Um, these particular positive um, thoughts or images, visualizations um, into your ritual, right? And the word ritual also means writ. So you can write something also to help intensify the ancestral connection. But you want to be able to be able to commune with your ancestors. So you must have also set up that is temporarily, that is just a tool to get you to the point of when they can actually just come to you and the altar will be in your mind, all right? So the physical altar is just to get you to understand left hemisphere thinking. 
as the left hemisphere of the brain needs something tangible to tap into. So hence the reason why for the whole time. The right hemisphere of the um, brain is abstract. But in order to tap oftentimes into the right hemisphere of the brain, which is abstract, you must have something concrete or visual or physical so that the left hemisphere can transfer through the degrad synapses into the right hemisphere in order to tell it and convey the message to the right hemisphere so that it can open up because there's an area in the brain called the um, right reticular, um, if I'm not really, I hope I'm saying that correctly, in which that scientists have taken probes and actually put on the area in the brain or the head and it has actually opened up and instantly gave a person the ability in order to actually travel, come outside of their body. Okay, so um, you want to be able to communicate the ancestors in that format, in that way, because you are a living ancestor. Okay? Also, there's another scientific method that observed that an electron after 360 rotation it appears becomes undetected in view. It is alleged that the electron makes another 360 degree rotation when it is undetected, hence making 720 degrees rotation. That's what I was talking about earlier. It can be speculated that when the electrons are released at depth, this undetected field, which we refer to as having a hell state of mind, is where we also enter. Thus, this confirms the theory of reincarnation. Detected, undetected, then detected again. So nevertheless, our atmosphere is being disrupted by the heart system. For what purpose? To disrupt the reincarnation process. And for them to control the electronic transmissions. This is what Dr. Um, Phil Valentine, Bob and Phil Valentine spoke about lockdown cold transmissions. And because they're trying to lock down the light transmissions in our light codes to keep from being able to um, go back and forth, as it says, of the transmissions. This is why they created the GMO food. GMO food does just that. It locks you down so that it have you in a perpetually incarnated state, in a state of obedience to them. So they change out their genetics. GMO food is known to go directly into the bloodstream and actually reinsert the messages coming from GMO food into your natural genes or your natural DNA. Okay? This is what's going on. The Supreme Wisdom Lessons originated by uh, Master Farah Muhammad. It also on Muslim Lessons number two. Things, what makes rain, hell, snow, and earthquakes? Well, the earth is approximately covered under water, approximately three fourths of the surface. The sun and the moon have an attractive power on our planet. While our planet making a terrific speed of 1,037 and one third miles on its way around the sun, the sun draws the water up into the earth rotation, which is called gravity or gravitation, and a fine mist that the naked eye can hardly detect. And all of vapor or mist. But as this mist ascends higher and increases with other misses in the water in different currents of the atmosphere until when she comes heavier than gravitation. Then she distills back to the earth in the form of drops of water or drops of ice, which depends on how heavy the mist was and the current of the air it was in. Now this also correlates to the fact that upon the last upon your last breath you exhale. When you come into this world, when the doctor spanks you on your ass, you take an inhale. You <gasps> inhale and you start climbing because you're like, God damn, I'm back in this shit again. All right, then as you exhale, you don't know what the hell go, you know going to happen because you like, you know, you, you hope this heaven and hell shit is real, you know, or you know, you hope something is real after this, you know what I'm saying? But you don't know, you know, so you're scared, you don't know what the hell's going on. You hear all this ringing in your damn ears. You have a um, playback of your life, um, primary view, or what they refer to as your life play, being played back. And then you exhale. <sighs> and that miss is what the electronic emissions, is what we just talked about, goes up into the ionosphere. And then after a while, comes back down. 
because a person, if their heart is not lighter than the feather, have to reincarnate. If their heart, which is their their experiences, because that's what the heart symbolizes, your experiences, um, your life experiences, those things, those that you live to see, test, taste, and smell, and um, consume and bring into some type of memory data bank or ancestry data bank, as it's also referred to as um, your DNA or RNA experiences in this life, in this incarnation, is stored in the, what's called this, your um, atom seed of the heart. You have three seeds, one in the solar plexus, one in the heart, and one in the um, third eye going up into the brain area or into the crown. Well, that particular seed atom is in the left ventricle of the heart. And that seed atom has your memories. And the heart is known to be 1,000 times greater in frequency and vibratory rate than the brain. And the brain is very powerful, as is one of the first organs to be formed in the body. Okay? But the heart, being that it has the arms attached to the heart, or in that same vicinity, and whatever you do healing, there's 29 compartments dedicated to the hands alone. That's more than any other organ in the body. So therefore, the hands are an extension of your heart. And so when your heart is activated through the healing principles, or what is referred to as chi or ki or prana energy, then you are able to transmit, bring down the energy through the crown chakra, and your pineal gland has to have to step down, transform to the pituitary gland, pituitary gland to the hypothalamus gland, thalamus gland, hypothalamus gland to um, the thyroid gland, thyroid glands, parathyroids, down into the thymus gland, thymus gland, uh, right there above the heart, down into the pancreas and the spleen, the liver, down into the kidneys, the adrenal glands, down into um, the uterus and the and ovaries, testes and the prostate gland for the middle. So these are the seven major endocrine glands, particularly in organs. All right, but this correlated with again, you know, to what we're talking about here. All right, there are some layers of currents of air, real cold and warm, and some are very swift and changeable. So when the water strikes one of these cold areas, it becomes solid ice and small round drops and form, but in a light, fluffy form, which is called snow. But then this water is not even drawn about six miles from the Earth's surface by the sun and moon. All right? The reason that the rain falls back on our planet is because it cannot get out of the Earth from atmosphere or sphere. All right? And with this high speed of rotating around the sun, makes it impossible. Now, earthquakes are caused by the sun and man. Therefore, one group, those on the council of planet, they make internally thought to manipulate whether naturally or the other group, um, those who will for pineal glands have to do it with weather modification, with weather um, manipulation with the extent with the external devices or technology. Well this goes back to Dr. Richard King after those of our um biological psychiatry he says five to fifteen percent Africans have cast for pineal glands, twenty to thirty percent Asians and sixty to eighty percent Europeans. Okay? Africans and their offsprings, Native Americans would do a sun dance, a way a sun dance ceremony practice of rituals. All right, that's the ritual. Ritual is a ceremony practice which is differently by several North American Indian nations, but it includes dancing, singing, drumming, experience of visions, of visions, fasting, and etc. It is extraordinarily held by every tribe once a year, usually at the time of the summer solstice. All right? The Sundance lasts for about four to eight days, starting at the sunset and the final day of the preparation, ending at sunset. We show a continu continuity between life and death, a regeneration, so that there is no true end to life, but a cycle symbolic and true deaths and rebirths. All of the nature is intertwined and dependent upon one another. This gives an equal ground to everything on earth. The Native American tribes was practice um, sun dancing 
of Dancy's work of Rapaho. Um, Barbara Cara. I've been on um, Bowie, the Cheyenne, the Crow, the Cole, the Ventra, um, Hydusta, the Sioux, the Plain Creek, the Plain um, Ojagway, Seracy, Omaha, Ponca, Utes, Shishun, Kiowa, and the Blackfoot tribes. Various interpretations of rain dances also have been reported to show you how we can control the nature in that we are the son of God or the son of man. We have the ability to, know to control nature too. You can do it through dance, sing, praise, worship, drumming, music, as they would say. So here, various interpretations of rain dances can be found in many agricultural or gardening cultures from ancient Africa to some Native American tribes that we just read. Julia M. Boutry, in her book, Rain Dance of Zulu, writes of the Cherokees tribes, including Southern Appalachian, performing rain dances both to induce precipitation and the cleansing of evil spirits for the earth. The legend of the tribes holds that the rain summoned by the tribes contains the spirit of the past tribal chiefs who, when fallen, battled evil spirits in the transitional plane between novel reality and the spiritual world. And that's true. They pass through the first and second overtone level of the fourth dimension. They have to do battle with these entities, these negative entities, in which they have been referred to as uh, some extraterrestrial forces, um, as well as also um, negative uh, um, harmonics, um, other types of entities such as fairies and Etc. Uh, Etc. Et All right. Oh. All right. So there's a new energy on the planet Earth. That's all right. It is Revelation 26 verse and on um, first. It says, and I saw a new heaven and new earth, and the first heaven and new. And the first earth was passed away. Now, is that somehow destroying the planet Earth? No. It's talking about the Earth being renewed. What's renewing it with a photonic energy is a light energy, gamma rays, that's great pulsation is moving towards our solar solar um, system. What the scientists who are now discovering, Dr. Alexei Dimitro, I know I know I probably read this, part of this the last time. Of the Siberian Department of the Russian Academy of Science and from the Viskiskos, the Viskis, Sibriskis, has researched that and confirmed the existence of what he called a highly charged material and an, an electric or energetic non uniformity, or what we refer to as the higher density of ethnic energy in a nearby local interstellar, interstellar um, space or photon belt. Like a mutual also, the part the scientists is measuring the remarkable huge increase in plasma. All right, there's a huge increase in, um, in the increase in plasma and photonic activity in our solar plasma, solar system. This is having a profound effect on our sun, which is an unprecedented amount of solar activity, as well as affecting the weather patterns of every planet in our solar system. So, as you see, as the planet is increasing with this plasma and photonic. At, um, um, Activity, they actually have designed the heart system and the chemtrails to actually do battle against these radical changes that will actually be happening naturally. But they're trying to keep us thinking that this is normal. 75 degrees during Christmas in New York is normal. Or either they can just say, oh, that's El Nino, oh, that's global warming. It's the greenhouse effect. Ah. Tell me that's going to give it. All right. So the photonic bell has already reached the atmosphere and is affecting not only the Earth, but also many planetary systems around Earth. 
we already know that is affecting the sun and causing mass eruptions and solar flares at this time. Photons are the oldest structures in the universe. Photon particles are the powerful energies that can accumulate thought, that can retain memory. Right, this, this is very important. Because this is the reason why the Bible speaks about the fact that it can be no more deaths and so forth and so on, because you are actually going to start gaining secrets um, to these mysteries. And we know that you know, words can actually change DNA. So if your telomeres, which are the extension pieces, the extended pieces or can be non-extended pieces on the tip of your DNA can be elongated, then you can actually increase your longevity. Right? And you can do that actually through meditation. Photonic particles are powerful energy that accumulate through thought and it can contain memory. In other words, photonic energy is also a very high frequency. It creates the power of instant manifestation of thought. So this is why um, when you think about a person all of a sudden they did. Well before, it took maybe days, weeks, months, maybe years. You know, now it takes seconds. It's been sped up. Damn, I was just thinking about you. That's what is more so being said now. Because there's the power of instant manifestation of thought. This has never before happened in our lifetimes. This is new. All right, this is the sun coming into since 2012, December 21st, um, going into the dark rift, as you see here, of the photon belt. We're now coming out on the other end of the photon belt towards Alcyon, which is the central sun of the Milky Way galaxy in the Pleiades. And right, so nevertheless, with all these energies coming to the Earth, the atmosphere will be a light star, meaning that we are people do not get enough um, natural light. Sun, due to working in and living indoors, well, under uh, actually unhealthy um, light and EMF, or electromagnetic fields. For example, such as power lines, home wiring, transformer radios, televisions, mobile corpus phones, cell phones, microwaves, computers, and other electronic appliances. Right now, notice that all of these are actually normally about 60 hertz. All these, um, all these electronics normally oscillate between about 60 hertz approximately. Now, what gets me is that your cells to oscillate in a healthy state must oscillate between 70 to 100 hertz. So, if your cells are supposed to oscillate between 70 to 100 hertz, and then you're dealing with electronics, for which that is 60 hertz, then that means that these electronics actually can pull down your electromagnetic field or your vibratory rate. Okay? And note that this is what um, Susan Baldwin and Wells at Day was actually talking about here um, is that bringing down of that energy. Lifestyle symptoms is vitamin D, health and deficiency, seasonal affective disorder, neural hormonal and transmitting disruption. As the heart system is able to disrupt the atmosphere of the ionic sphere, they also um, not get enough light. Disrupt the neural hormonal recurrence and disruption or causes that disruption. Depression, fatigue, irritability, lower sex drive, poor food, nutrition, absorption, lowered immune function, and even thoughts of suicide. All right, so in order to help with that, especially for those who are vegans, you know, you most of the time don't get enough vitamin B12, all right, or B. Complex in particular, which vitamin B it helps the um, body to produce energy in red blood cells, energy production. So if you don't have enough vitamin B12 in particular, um, it can produce um, decreased energy production, fatigue, and lethargy. 
But then we all know how important the sun is. Well, Psalms 84, 11 does. For it says, for the Lord God is the sun and the shield. And the Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk upright. So if you walk in the sun, you can receive transmissions of galactical information. As the sun acts as a magnifying glass for the star constellation series, for the Palladians, for a Taurus, for Andromeda, and different other um, constellations. And those light codes are sent forth through our sun, which acts as a magnifying glass, and the sun beams those sort of static energies, or what it calls solar flares, mega flares, super flares, to the planet Earth in order to give us information and to change DNA, to upgrade us. You know, um, that song by Beyonce just wasn't, you know, let me upgrade you. You know, that shit, that was real. That's real. If you still don't know, then you see Rocky on the right, and then you see the fake Jesus on the left. And when he got the sun disc or the halo behind his head, it's because it took the right, they took the right off of the walls of Kimmy. As the hawk head here symbolizes Heru or Horus. And with the sun on top of the head, with the, with the serpent symbolizes that sun disc. As the serpent is the Uranus, but it's also referred to as Caduceus. It's also referred to as, in its feminine sense, Yusheta. Yusheta means Washita. Okay? So, which means the green land. All right? But you're talking about abundance or replenishing or regenerating, revitalizing, re energizing. All right? Most of us know the science behind 666 being six protons, six electrons, six neurons, or neutrons. Well, oxygen is in two. You have eight electrons, eight protons, eight neutrons. 888. If you get the book 777 by Alice O'Croom, he states in it that Jesus Christ's name breaks down to 888. So Jesus Christ actually means oxygen, hence the breath of life, hence the reason why he was called the word of God, hence the reason why when you sneeze, you say Yashu, which is the name of Jesus in Aramaic, or O Hebrew, Yeshua, which means O He Who Saves. So it's talking about the breath. The breath is the he because it's talking about Shu. Shu is the air personification deity, or nature, of the ancient Kemet. Okay? So when Christians say that if you need Jesus in your life, hell, you do hell, you want to give me my life. You're talking about the breath. We ain't talking about no cracker coming out of the sky for two thousand years ago. So <laughs> that's just not what's taking place. That was gonna happen. Um, hell, even the damn Catholics who damn promoted shit don't even believe it anymore. Okay? They even came out recently with the article about um he ain't coming back. We know. That's why the Pope passed himself off as saying that he's the one, um, yeah, I'm I'm the vigor of Christ, meaning that um, I'm Christ until he returns. In other words, in other words, I'll take over until he returns, and he, he done took over now for 1,500 years. And he ain't returning yet. You know, Prince was a um, Jehovah Witness. He thought um, it was going to happen in 2000. That's when he came up with the song, 1999. It didn't happen. Y2K came instead, which really didn't happen. Then 2012 came, niggas were calling me every week. And you think the earth's going to be here? You were telling niggas about getting um, gold and copper and platinum and, and silver, you know, in, order, in the long run so they could have something of substance. Niggas telling us that, oh man, I don't need none of that because the world ain't already come to the end. I said, oh, for real? Where are y'all getting this dumb shit from? The earth been here for five billion years, and we'll be here for another five billion years. But this is our people's mentality. 
been listening to the wrong teachings, obviously. But that's Doom Day shit. So people who follow the Doom Day shit, they ain't do anything. They, ain't, they probably ain't nothing in life. Just keep going to house to house. You know what I'm saying? Trying to find a job or work cases, a little temporary gig, just to make some ends meet. I mean, they probably could have, you know, went to school, you know what I'm saying, or college or university or something and became something, you know, a little bit more worthwhile in life. So their own business. You know what I'm saying? Contributed something to society. You know, and this is what's going on. All right, so speaking about air, well, let's look at the sky. It's being sprayed. You know, it's called chemtrails, not contrails, which is just based on moments after releasing the jet. Chemtrails, however, does not and spread out and produces a haze, which is called chemdome. All right, so the chemtrails works in conjunction with the heart system. And jet sprays, chemtrails consist of barium, titaniates, um, methyl or aluminum, and potassium mixtures in the stratosphere, as well as those bacterial spores. Because now they have figured out that they can attack you with bacteria based on your blood type. And the antigens in which that makes up your blood type. Or no antigens at all based on your particular blood type. These controls are used to reflect and absorb radiation or radio and electromagnetic energy that are induced by the heart and reflect back into that ionosphere. This activate um, activity is used to push a pull of jet streams, which alters the weather patterns. This manipulation can result in all sorts of different weather patterns, including storms, droughts, extreme cold, heat, etc. So hot technologies for weather modification in conjunction of chemtrails. Um use the ionosphere in the part in the um, particulate in the part, excuse me, particulates a matter in the um, stratosphere. Chemtrails to reflect energy, some solar energy back and forth in order to control the jet stream, which in turn causes the desired weather pattern. The ozone layer has been depleted by solar wax. This may explain the reason why the various governments of the world are using chemtrails. The military has stated that it is part of a mass vaccination against terrorist airborne assaults attack. The chemtrails are part of the genocidal program to reduce the population control up to 90%, actually said Ken Ashet. Add that shit. Like you go education-yourself.org. Nevertheless, chemtrails have been dropped on us since 1997 without the people's consent. Chemtrails have been scientifically analyzed and bacteria spores of aluminum, barium, thorium, zirconium, and other immunities. Um, um, reflected metallic or metals, metal oxides that have been found. A war one investigative reporter, Will Thomas, has reported finding over 300 types of uh, varial mutating fungi, molds, and bacteria spores in the chemtrail fallout. Chemtrails are depleted, um, depleted the vitamin D um, that can be directly received, uh, received um, by the body. Or they live directly to the body. Additionally, Dr. Um, Stanier and um, Carjon and researcher James Smith have reported finding a self replicating nano machines and rivers of silicon running wild through the body of the melanchins affected. Researchers Clifford um, Carnicon has reported finding chemtrail fiber nanotechnology and abnormal blood cells that are an exact match with the bizarre fibers and blood cells found in those suffering from the legend disease. The rest of the 100 top leaders um, world scientists have been killed or died mysteriously. Okay, get the um, by Mark J. Harper, their scientists and microbiologists, master list, this is over 100. 
But now they already have over 29 holistic doctors that, is, um, that they have killed now. Nanotechnology, this is what it looks like. Copper ore, large clear fibers, advanced technology arrays, etc., etc. So scientists have made chemtrails are creating artificial clouds. This is by Robert Joseph Watson. July the um, second, two thousand and ten. Scientists now admit that the emotion, that the emissions from um, aircrafts are forming artificial clouds that blocks out the sun. Who can take the sun? Those who have very light skin. The Albion of Europeans, albinos. Precisely what in, um, geoengineering advocates like top eugenics and White House scientists advisor J.P. Holder. Holder who called for the uh, for the release actually or the development of these um, particular artificial clouds. It's in his book, nineteen seventy seven, called Echo Science. Advocate poisoning the water supply. Uh oh. Advocate poisoning the water supply to involuntarily sterilize humans. Well damn, what we just seen in Flint, Michigan. Lead will make you sterile. Highest amounts of lead has been found in the water supply in Flint, Michigan. So the fact that some eugenicists are now in control of geoengineering programs that would make a direct impact on our health is alarming. We already know that fluoride in the water calcifies the pioneer gland. So chemtrail geoengineering sprays the atmosphere daily in one of the most blatant tools of the worldwide depopulation control agenda. Particles of aluminum, barium, and bacteria spores, etc., increase the risk of skin lesions, Alzheimer's, dementia, heart disease, high blood pressure, lung cancer, asthma attacks, and other respiratory illnesses. Haven't you noticed a large increase of people walking around with fucking oxygen tanks? Oxygen tanks. People walking around with tubes hanging out their nose with oxygen tanks. This has increased over the last 15 years dramatically. Like Professor Edward on Chief Fondo um, speaks on the use of the wind to deliver germs to target countries so that it appears natural. Three gene wars by military control over the new genetic technology by Pillar and um, Yamamoto. Yamamoto, all right? Another article, July 17, 2012. So two years later, they put out an article again saying scientists plan to block the sun using man-made clouds. A pair of Harvard engineers, David Keith is one, has announced that they intend to spray thousands of tons of particles into the air to block the sun rays. Within the next coming year, block light photons. All right, that's really what they're doing. The pair plan to launch a balloon to ascend 80,000 feet over Fort Sumter, Fort, Fort Sumner, New Mexico, before pumping out tens of hundreds of kilograms of sulfuric aerosols into the sky. The idea is that the particles will reflect sunlight back into space, helping decrease the temperature on the Earth. Now we know why Dr. Deborah Blitz said it would be like an ant trying to hold back a tidal wave. Because even though they've done all of this, it's not working. It's still 75 degrees in New York during the goddamn Christmas day, on, on Christmas. Fourteen ways to cleanse the body from chemtrail, GMO, fluoride, water, and other environmental toxins. All right, this is May 26, uh, 2013, came out three years ago. You can install an HEPA or filter or a high quality air purifier. You can also spend time in nature since trees and flowers act as a natural air purifier. Um, turn to um, vinegar, baking soda, citrus, particularly lemon or lime juice. Sunlight and just your sweat lodges can be used. You can also use a dry heat sauna for the same effects. 
fashion has been practiced by different cultures and religions around the world for centuries and affected what they be taught so far. Their ancient yogi traditions or teachings, which also cleanses the mouth, tongues, trachea, stomach, and intestines like drinking sea salt water um, and then eliminate it, much like the natural enema. Drinking more water, but only if it's purified. Bathing in hot and cold water. Um, bathing in ocean is practiced by the Kumu Ula, master teachers at the means of purification. It is also practiced all over Japan, Turkey, India, Africa, and Australia. Just to name a few countries, it's bathing purification traditions. All right. Um, or rituals. Warm the body to improve the lymphatic system and immune functions. Turmeric. Turmeric is great for detoxifying the body as a sour sap, which is actually graviola. Right? So say um, apple cider vinegar is wonderful, but it's not for a old blood type. And so is lemon juice and ginger, which ginger is good for old blood type and lemon juice is neutral. Use clay to draw impurities from the skin. Um, take milk thistle, dandelion to detoxify the liver. This important organ removes toxins from our bloodstream. So that's how you get rid of those particular problems there. Morpheus in the Matrix 1998. Act the large fish burn holds up a door so bad to tell the level in which people have been reduced. What is the matrix? Control. The matrix is a computer generated dream world built to keep us under control in order to change a human being into fits. He holds up a door so bad. He tells Neo that this is what we are to them. True, you are a battery. A battery needs, alkal needs to be alkaline, however. So when the battery is alive, the output in charge is electrical. It is also alkaline, but when the battery is dead, it is acidic. So as our body is about 25% acidic and 75% alkaline, it is recommended that we consume roughly 25% acidic food and 75% alkaline food. As our body is 75% water and 25% mass. So when the body is too acidic, you will feel ill, sick, suffer from illness and disease. But being that your body is 75% water, it is very important for the type of water you intake. GMOs and toxins in our waters decrease testosterone and estrogen levels. All right, this is your um, illustration of the alkalinity and the acidic. The water must be alkaline. Your pH balance must be between 7.2 to 7.4. At this pH balance, no disease can exist in the body. Hence, your food most surely be alkaline to at least 75%. So, at least 25% of the city. Alkaline food or electrical food. The highest electrical alkaline linear foods or lemons, limes, key limes in particular, watermelons, um, cantaloupes, green fruits, mangoes, papaya, broccoli, garlic. Onions and almonds, etc. Um, as you can see here, most alkaline foods, that's that word is with us. So, purple teas and lemon water, olive oil, alkaline, maple syrup, rice syrup, dates, figs, melons, grapes, papayas, kiwi, berries, apples, pears, raisins, okra, squash, green beans, beets, celery, lettuce, zucchini, sweet potatoes, corral, almond, flaxseed oil, breast milk and green tea. Lowest alkalinity, raw honey, raw sugar, orange, bananas, cherries, pineapples, um, peaches, avocado, carrots, tomatoes, fresh corn, make sure it's not GMO, um, mushrooms, cabbage, peas, um, potato skins, olives, um, soybeans, tofu, which I don't recommend um, because it has a high amount of estrogen, chestnuts, um, canola oil, um, amaranth, amaranth, mullet, um, quinoa, wild rice, soy cheese, soy milk, which we don't recommend, recommend much of, um, goat milk, goat cheese, whey, um, we don't recommend probably none of those. Um, we recommend um, almond milk. Hilt milk, okay, rice milk, um, then you have ginger tea, all right? So those are most alkaline to lowest alkaline. 
And of course, you have to know his answer. All right? Just remember, you can eat these because 25%. But what is it? All right? It's not processed honey or molasses unless it's black strap molasses. But you can take two spoons if there's a person that has an um, iron deficiency or anemia. But you have plums, processed fruits, juices. You have cooked spinach, kidney beans, string beans, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, corn oil, sprout wheat, uh, spelt, brown rice, venison, cold water fish, eggs, butter, yogurt, butter milk, cottage cheese, tea. Acid, white sugar, blood, um, brown sugar, sour cherries, rhubarb, potatoes without skin, pinto beans, navy beans, lima beans, um, pecans, cashews, white rice, corn, buckwheat, oats, rye, turkey, chicken, lime, or lamb, raw milk, coffee. Most acidic, nutrient-sweet, equal. Aspartame, um, sweet and low, blueberries, cherries, prunes, um, chocolate, um, peanuts, walnuts, wheat, white flour, pastries, pasta, beef, pork, shellfish, cheese, homogenized, milk, ice cream, beer, soft drinks. All right, so you want to keep. 75% of your food on this side of the low alkaline, alkaline, most alkaline. But like we said, of course you eat blueberries, cherries, uh, uh, cherries, plums, uh, cranberries, prunes. I mean, um, you can eat those. I mean, that's just what it is. You know? But 25%. Right. All right, so these are some of the superfoods that you need before the problems going on in society now, before the illnesses and sicknesses. You as a healer must be able to stay healthy and heal yourself. This is this will be a key. All right. Um, be pollen, be uh, propolis, um, wear your jelly. Um, Corella, spirulina, wild blue green algae, nori, sea moss, kelp, dosi, arami, kuami, kobo, barley grass, wheat grass, moringa, green leafy vegetables, goji berries, acne berries, blueberries, uh, raspberries, red and black. Blackberries, as they say, strawberries, mango steam, no, uh, raw coca, ginseng, macaroon, nettle, or turmeric, golden seal, dandelion, echinacea, chia seeds, hemp seeds, and etc. Pumpkin seeds. All right, these are. These are definitely the superfoods. Right, non-GMO versus GMO. Um, this is what we're talking about, that change of a gene. And so the new gene comes through the, um, through the GMO food, making a new protein. and alters the protein, changes plant and seed traits. All right, so United States market now, over 70% of the processed foods is genetically modif modified. In 2006, United States GMO crops reached um, just shy of 135 million acres, with the total global area exceeding 250 million acres. Discover magazine, um, which wrote, What You Eat Affects Your Genes. A new study suggests that the connection between the food biochemistry and your own may be more intimate than you thought. Honey RNA is usually found in plants that have been discovered circulating in blood. And animal studies indicate that they are directly manipulating the expression of genes. Therefore, we are GMO doing. So, what is GMO doing to you when you find? Well, we know that according to genetically altered food and your health by Ken Rosenborough, GMO foods are genetically modified organisms.
organism that means they've been created by modifying the genes of the species along with the introduction of foreign genes or DNA. So why would they create GMO food? What are they trying to stop from happening? Well, remember, we talked about the fact that you have 12 strands of DNA. You would jump from two strands of DNA to 12 strands of DNA. This is the reason why they created GMO food, to stop that from happening. To shut down the leak internally, because as above, so below. As within, so without. So externally, as above, that means that it had to drop chemtrails. As we know, that means they would have to alter the food. They would have to put fluoride in the water also to get the agent. And that was already tested in the 1940s during Hitler's regime. They started putting water, um, fluoride in the water. And they found because they found it as a as a forgetful agent. It made people forget. It created what we refer to as dementia all types. Okay? Possibly even schizophrenia. All types of brain ailments. There's a greater source of light into in our solar system that we talked about through the zodiac door of the Leo the Lion called Shetmont. Is it she's altering our DNA? So they want to stop that from happening with the GMO. The supreme light is black light, which is also all radiation. The super now remember, this is also part of the photonic energy that's coming in too. So we've been bombarded by various types of energy, from gamma rays to ultraviolet rays, etc. Right? So this super color will allow us to connect to a higher orbital level. There are seven energy states of the electron. All right? The violent end of the electron, or the spectrum is highest energy state of the electron in terms of the energy spectrum. These higher colors will raise the atomic structure of our physical body by causing us, causing all the electrons in the body to jump, making a quantum leap at once, breaking the seven seals or the seven shells of the electron. All right? It does create now with 12 strands of DNA, 12 etheric and 12 physical. Now, this is in the Bible. All right? Tell us this in Matthew 24, 35, 40, 41. This is how it will all come with the Son of Man. Two um, men will be in the field and one taken in the left. Two women will be grinding at the mill and at the hand mill and one will be taken in the left. So this is the rapture of what they're really talking about. All right? How that happens? Well, here, direct cosmic energy coming down through the part of the head, sunlight coming in through the nose or nostrils to the third eye, um, as well as you see taking the breath in, and then, of course, through the food, Cosmic energies on going into the mouth, into the digestive system, and then a full spectrum of energy assimilation, which is electromagnetic, also coming up through the soles of the feet or chakras of the feet. This is why it's important to take your shoes off um, every day in, the, in order to touch the ground at least um, as much as you can. My wife does it a whole lot more than I do. Um, but then again, that causes also a risk of. I'm going to parasite some worms in the body too. So you got to make sure that you take your garlic, um, which I know Dr. Sadie said, don't take. However, if you're low, if you're an old blood type, garlic is perfect for you as a get rid of parasites, worms, bacteria, viruses, etc. Um, also, cayenne pepper, also um, wormwood, um, dandelion, milk thistle, yellow dock, burdock. Red clover, graviola, either herbs in which that the various blood types can use. All right, holy, um, Quran 1448, one day the earth will be changed into a different earth, and so the heavens and man will be marshaled before Allah, the irresistible, iri, um, what's that, um, irresistible one. I'm, if I'm not mistaken, it kind of small for my screen. Right, so the Holy Bible tells me 21, 21, you said, um, and I saw the heaven, the new heaven and the new earth, for the first heaven and the, and the first earth has passed away. Right, now, according to Ancient Future by Wayne Chandler, um, a good friend of mine, um, every 25,120 years, approximately 25,128 years, to be right and exact, 
open over the rest of our soul. This is all complete. One orbit around the central sun of the plate is called Alcina. All right. Um, Paul Alder Hayes and a investigating astronomer discovered a photon belt that is the Pleiades. So see, we're going towards the Pleiades, or going closer towards that as we go to the photon belt, as we already talked about. Our Earth is presently um, completing this cycle of 25,920 25, years. Now, remember, this correlates to um, Elijah Muhammad's 25,000 year year of history, and we call it a holy Quran. And the word Quran means cycle. So the word holy means um, helios or sun. So it's about a sun cycle. The word holy Quran means a sun cycle or sun chronicle, chronicle of time, um, solar time, right? And this solar time is 25,000 hours and 20 years. So to state that the sun alone, the planet, is entering the photon, though, technically a photon is, a, is collided, is, coll is collision between an anti electron and a positron and an electron. It creates a brilliant burst of light energy. We refer to it as photonic energy, an enormous amount of pure light energy. So this is what that is. As a matter of native being, we absorb all vibratory frequencies. Consequently, the human organism can be biochemically, physiologically, and even genetically transformed. So they're trying to transform us into something negative by the fluoride in the water, the chemtrails, in the sky, um, as well as also the GMO food. So we have on the last Muhammad, who also speaks of 25,000 years in history called the Holy Quran, as we just talked about. This chronicle of time correlates to 25,000 years now in the year cycle called the Great Year, or galactical alignment of the central sun, Alcyon, and Pleiades, and Sirius, our sun, and the planet Earth, etc. Due to the depletion of the overlay, we receive direct energy from the central sun, Sirius, and etc. for the first time in 25,928 years, changing, mutating our molecular DNA structure from homo sapiens sapiens into homo crystals. Right, look at the, um, this is series A and B, and they travel around in an elliptical pattern every 50 years, which looks very similar to the DNA within our body. Hence the reason why the Dogon state that we came from the Star Constellation series. Because um, as the Earth goes around um, the 12 zodiac signs every 25,000 years, it also travels around for series A, B, and C, which is called Dogo Zikitolo, um, Polo Tolo, and Emiya, right, every 25,000 years or so. So it goes in this elliptical pattern. So that means our solar system and planets and series A, B, and C and their planets are all connected and they travel around each other every 25,000 years as in the world of history. So you get the book Beyond Proxies and Prediction by um, Mora on Thames, um, which I recommend. Also, the journals of biological um, physics. Teach about scientists have found that the streams of energy from stars travel in specific directions, either up or down the galactic arm in which they are embedded. Stars are polarized to other stars, both negative, magnetic, and positive electric. Some receive energy, some send out, all of which travel on the path of a magnetic field line, which is what scientists refer to as strengthening. Now, recent findings revealed that we are downstream from Sirius and part of the galactic arm our solar system reside in. All right, new energies are flowing into the Earth at an unprecedented um, degree. Sirius transmits its energy, highly charged photonic light particles to our entire system via the magnetic field line. We literally, we literally receive energy from Sirius. Now you go to the Holy Quran. The Holy Quran we told us this in the um, um, Surah 53. Al Najim, which is the star, it states, and he, Allah, is the Lord of Sirius, the mighty star. Okay? So, you know, this, this is what we're talking about here. You know, um, and you as a melanated being, being able to receive these energies as you practice your Qigong, your Tai Chi, your Reiki, your Pranakili, all these energy modalities deals with us um, being able to draw energy down through us, into us, storing it, as well as also being able to transmit it. Okay? So I'm going to end class here today, and we're going to pick back up here on slide 51. We'll continue on in the next class. Any questions?
All right, if there's no questions, we're we'll going to end class here and we'll come back Tuesday and finish up uh, with the slide presentation and then start going into the actual classes. Uh, first, we'll be dealing with um, Pranic Healing, then Reiki, and then Qigong. All right, so that's how we're going to do that. Um, we'll see everybody here Tuesday, y'all. Appreciate y'all coming. Make sure y'all on time. I'm um, 8 o'clock. We still stand in time on um, Tuesday, all right, and Sundays, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, all right? Peace, y'all.